This demonstration is about primitive objects like spheres, cubes and cylinders. First, we'll go through the different attributes of primitives. Then we'll show how we can rough out more complex models with the help of these objects. Primitives are objects that a software package can create mathematically. This cube has many attributes that change its proportions and its division levels on each axis. Here we can add more segments to a cylinder, or change its height, or change the properties on this sphere. Often, a software package will have many types of primitives, and some can change radically with different settings. Here, we can see how a collection of simple primitives can create this UFO. This robot might look complicated, but most of his parts were made from primitives too. Primitives can also be used to block out organic models. Here, we'll create a thorny devil lizard. By tweaking and deforming vertices, we can sculpt a primitive into shape and form the body and tail. A new cylinder can be tapered and bent to form a leg. Another cylinder forms this claw, and we can duplicate it to form others. It's very easy to reuse repeating geometry in 3D. Here we're duplicating the front leg to form the back. We can also mirror both legs from the left to the right. The primitives allow us to rough in the shapes without having to manually build each polygon. We might not think a cube is a great starting point for an eyebrow, but with a little scaling and some tweaking, it can be very useful. Eyes are easy to create from spheres, and eyelids can be spheres with half their polygons deleted. It's not always this easy, but we can see how primitives can quickly rough out a model. With only minor changes to each primitive, the blocking of this model can occur quite quickly. Here, we're adding the details, the thorns on his back. But remember, the blocking is only the beginning. Later, we will use a variety of tools to combine and weld all the pieces into one organic shape. This can take some time to do. A model like this can take from half a day to more than a week to model depending on experience. Once our final mesh is complete, a subdivision smooth is added to round off the model. And here is the completed model, with rendering and shadows.